go. Oh, finished. No, live. Uh, do it this way. What am I? There. Okay, you guys. Reverend Suzanne already did the prayer. I've welcomed you. We did an opening song. And guess what? I forgot to push the button. Okay, we can start again. Reverend Suzanne said we can start again. So you know what? We're going to start again. And we're learning. I tell you, I love this. I love the opportunity. I love seeing your faces come up on the screen. Mary Ella and Tony. It's all good. It's all God. So here we are. Welcome to the Foothill Center for Spiritual Living. I'm Reverend Maggie Buck. And it is my pleasure to be coming to you live from uh, Auburn, California. So now, let's see, what are we doing? Thank you for this day. Reverend Suzanne, come on forward and, and bless everybody with the song. Great, let's start. So join me for this song, Thank You For This Day. I'm so grateful. <laughs> So I want to say thank you for you this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Let's sing together. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. For this day, Spirit, thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Thank you for this day, Spirit, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit, thank you for this day. This beautiful, this beautiful, this beautiful. joining me. Yeah, thank you, Reverend Suzanne. Ah, so this is the time that we welcome everybody here. I am welcoming and waving, and I see your waves coming across my phone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, this is an exciting time and, and a learning time, a time where we can come together, and we're committed in the, at the Foothill Center for Spiritual Living. We're committed in your spiritual growth and unfoldment. The practitioners, the ministers, the board of trustees, we are all here to support you and to recognize that right where you are, God is. So I'm going to remind you that fcsliving.org is our website. You can ask for prayer. We've, you've got our phone numbers. You've got our email addresses. Stay in touch. We're here to serve you. We're here to know the truth for you, no matter what's going on. So now I'm going to call Reverend Suzanne up to do our vision and mission statement and our opening prayer. Thank you for joining us this morning. Please repeat line after line with me. We are a community that values and supports each other in our spiritual awakening. We are committed to practical spirituality for everyday living.
We, all of our activities are grounded in faith, nurtured with love, and guided by spirit. And so let us take that into our time of spiritual mind treatment this morning. Turning within, grateful and thankful for this holy moment of now. I call forth the infinite indwelling spirit within me, almighty God within me, that which is truth within me. As I drop into my sacred center of self, where there is no separation, there is only the recognition of the one, one power, one presence, one infinite holy, holy place. God omniscient, God omnipotent, God omnipresent. And knowing that this infinite loving presence contains wholeness, unity, harmony, joy, peace, guidance, newness, love, grace, and so much more. It is the ever-givingness of life itself, here, now, within me, within each of you, this holy presence, grounding force, loving God. And so I am knowing as I recognize this presence that I am, you are, we are each individual, beautiful aspects of the one, standing in our own strength and power as we are united, unified with that one source and power, always and forever. And as we stand in our own loving, powerful presence of God, I claim today a shifting consciousness for all of us as we take the stand of love, create a contagion of love, <coughs> as we realize that springtime is happening in nature, the, the blossoms and the blooms and the, the green grass and the beautiful air. Nature is still evolving and moving in its own organic way. And so we too can take a, a cue from nature today as we recognize our breath, the breath connected to God, that despite appearances, that there is a divine pattern of perfection behind everything, despite appearances, no matter what, we stand in our divine faith. So I'm grateful today for Reverend Maggie to be willing to be here for us and guide us into an inspirational message today. Even if we're not next to each other, we're close in heart. We're all together. So grateful for this time. So I bless Reverend Maggie's message. I bless each of you listening now or listening later, knowing that we are here by divine appointment, strong in our faith, knowing that with God all things are possible. Yes, it is. And so we can relax a bit and just enjoy this moment right now. And so I'm grateful and thankful to speak these words, to know the truth, to hold the high watch, grateful for all the practitioners of our community as they too hold the high watch for each of us. And so I release my word with faith, confidence, and trust in the law because the law always works. And I just let go. I truly let God. And join me in affirming, and so it is. Thank you, Reverend Suzanne. Ah, that's wonderful to be able to just settle into, into our prayerfulness. So this is the time of our program, which those of you who are uh, here a lot and often and part of this community, we know this is the time that we handle our joys and support. This is when we as an individual, there are times we can't always do prayer for ourselves. So we ask our community to hold us in prayer. And then, the, and then we get the answer to prayer. We get the job. We get the new place to live. It all starts to move and work the health and harmony in our physical bodies. 
And so that's when we give thanks to our community for holding that high watch for us, because that's what we do for each other. So I'm going to invite you, because you're not here today in person, but you're here in heart and you're here in mind, that you just bring to mind that support that you would like to have in your life or the life of a loved one. And so then this is where the community says, as you light your candle, you are so blessed. So I'm going to invite you to put your hands on your heart and just say, I am so blessed. And those places, those places in you that you would be sharing that is the joys, the, the, the demonstration that has taken place. You light your candle. And we all say to you, you are so blessed. Please say with me, I am so blessed. And so this is the time that as we complete our joys and support that we go into a meditation to anchor, anchor all the requests, to just anchor ourselves in a greater sense of the divine that lives within us. And so if it's comfortable, I'm going to invite you to just gently close your eyes. And take a breath. Ah, and just let go into this holy and sacred time of unity and harmony. And breathe into the very center of your being. that sacred center of self where the power of God resides within you. It is the place that has never been harmed, never hurt. It is the holy of most holy places and it is the life that lives within you. So breathe into that holy and sacred space. Ah. just let go into the breath and allow that breath that sacred center to expand out into every cell every muscle every fiber every tissue of your physical body Touching every cell, healing, refreshing your body temple. There's no place you need to be, nothing you need to do. Just be with you. And let these words that I speak radiate throughout your body, surround you. There is only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. Breathe it deeper. There is only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. Let it fill every muscle, fiber, and tissue of your body. Your physical body, your spiritual body, and your etheric body. One body in God. 
There is only one life. That life is God's life. That life is perfect. That life is my life now. And so with the next breath, I invite you to from that sacred center within yourself that you feel the healing power of God within you and allow the healing to move throughout your physical body. Holy, holy, perfect. I am. Holy, holy, perfect. I am. I am. And so now we take this next breath and we send that divine perfection out to the world, to the hearts of the world. May all people be healed. May all people feel their own divine holiness within. Health, harmony, spirit. May the world be safe and free from harm's way. And now please bring that same energy back into the room. And with the sound of the Tibetan bowl, please take the blessing deeper still as you bless your own heart. Join me for the sacred reading. Repeat line after line after me. Today I am seeing with the eyes of the divine. I am looking at things in a perfect and direct way. I am seeing through the confusion to peace through doubt to certainty, through fear to faith. Today, bright with hope and filled with promise is mine. I am alive, awake, and aware today. I am healthy, and so it is. And so now we're going to have, is it Kathy Zavada? Kathy Zavada, in the light. We know this song.
Delight in the love. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Reverend Suzanne. How fun it is to do this together. I have to say I miss you. <laughs> I miss you guys in the room. Except that Rex and Suzanne are really a big crowd today. They're, they're being such great supporters. So today I'm talking about nurturing a strength. And the Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. Ah, let the infirm say I am healthy. Let the fearful say I am greater in God. So we really want to be nurturing ourselves means that we build our strength. And as we build the strength within us, we build our faith. I believe that we can't afford to sink into the deep waters of this world event because it's pretty deep. We need to ask, what is it that needs to be healed? What is it that needs to be healed in me? See, I believe we need to heal the idea that we are separate from the rest of the world. We need to stop blaming we need to take a breath because fear and panic is a virus. Fear and panic weaken our immune system. I know you've heard me say this before, but I'm going to keep saying it during this time. I believe we are called to nurture ourselves and remind ourselves we are a faith-based people. We are a faith-based community. Where is our faith? And we're reminded that we are never alone. And so for me, it's time to rise up. It's time to rise up, not in protest, but to rise up in faith. To rise up to claim and accept a vision of a world free from fear. A vision of a world free, for, free from virus of limited thinking. A world that works for everyone. See, I believe that's what we're each being called to demonstrate, to create. We need to imagine a healthy word, a healthy world and words. A healthy world in every sense. I believe we are being called up to look and think independently of the situation around us. We are more than this. We are more than a lack of toilet paper, okay? Let's be real. Let's be real who we are. And looking to blame or point fingers is not who we are. We are faith. People of faith, people that know that there is a greater power, a greater truth taking place, not only in our lives, but in the life of the world. I don't know, have you looked at your money lately? See, our money says, in God we trust. So it's time for each one of us to commit greater to live and act from our trust. We are being asked to rise up to call upon the faith warrior within. Did you know that there's a faith warrior in you and in me? Each of us. Each of us are being asked to hold a greater vision in trusting, knowing and accepting that with God all things are possible. Not just maybe, but absolutely possible. And of course... As I was putting this talk together, I went to one of my favorite books, Neville Goddard's Interpretation of the Scriptures. And I'd like to read, with you, read to you one of these sections. And this is written in the Bible, and it says, Listen carefully to the promise. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. With you. This particular consciousness with which we are identified is the Lord of the agreement. God will, without assistance, 
establish the thing agreed upon on earth. So what we think and believe is what God will answer yes to. So listen carefully to the promise. The Lord of life is with you. So he goes on to say, can you in the face of the army of reasons why a thing cannot be done, quietly enter into an agreement with God that it is done? Do you see, Neville Goddard is asking us from the vision of what we want to create to act as if it is already done. Because in truth, in the mind of God, it is complete. Breathe into that for a moment. Salvation is with you. Can you now that you have found and remembered your faith to, to be your awareness of being, become aware that the battle is won in your own mind. See that this virus is run its course. It's done. It's finished. Can you, no matter how near and threatening the enemy seems to be, continue in your confidence, standing still, knowing that the victory is yours? What is the enemy? The illness? Our belief about it? Our fear? That's all the enemy. Victory. See the victory for the world. If you can, you will see the salvation. See the salvation for everyone in the whole world. See your faith taking form as you believe, so shall it be. As you think, so will you create. So I'm going to invite us to be prayer warriors, spiritual warriors, because within each and every one of us, is the power of God. And this is the time where we need to focus more on that than what's happening outside. We're being called to nurture the planet, to plant seeds of our faith in every moment. Everything, every time you wash your hands, this is what I've been doing, every time I wash my hands, I give thanks to God that the healthcare workers have all the supplies they need, all the equipment to serve the people who need their help. Wash your hands giving thanks, jobs return, restaurants open. We get to come back into church and fill these seats. Every time you wash your hands, you have to see it first. See, see it first within our imagination, within our belief system, and from that vision of what we see already taking place, we create an atmosphere where it is possible, not only possible, but where the miracles begin to happen. See the solution. Live from the solution, not from the fear, not from the news. It's up to each one of us to turn the flame of panic down, down to a simmer. Yes, be mindful. Oh, yes, and take care. When you're washing your hands, give thanks. Give praise to God. Thank you, God. I have the water and the soap to wash my hands. Thank you, God. A solution has been found. I'm going through the whole day thanking God. Yes, I watch a little bit of the news, but let me tell you, as soon as I start to feel like I'm a cork going under the, the surface of the water, I shut it off, and I thank God for my faith and my trust. We, each and every one of us has the power to vision the solution. I think it's up to each one of us because, you see, faith... And the power of solution is greater than what's happening in the world. Remember, it's the same story as Lord and Taylor all over again. Mr. Taylor, who kept failing in business until he put Lord before his name. Lord and Taylor. People would ask, who's Mr. Lord? He said, no, I'm in business with the Lord. 
Lord, and you create success. Lord, and me are powerful. We can't forget that. And, and we're going to... It's up to us to keep remembering to grab our faith books off of the shelf and, and open it up until we read something that, that, that fills any fear, any doubt. Faith lifts us up. We're in charge. You're in charge. You're in charge of what you believe and how you respond to what's going on. Rick's home for a whole God knows how long. We're going to make it fun. I'm going to beat him in Mexican train. Look, and we've already got corners. We've decided that we're going to clean out and take care of that we seem to not ever have time to do. So let's do the things that we can do right now. And inside of each one of us is a powerful, all-embracing peace, a holy, sacred place. And we need to remind each other of that. The practitioners are here for you. I'm here for you. Reverend Suzanne's here for you. To remind you that God within is our hope and glory. Not the news. Not what they say or don't say. See clearly. Hold the vision of perfect health and harmony. First for you, I am healthy. I am whole. I am complete. The world is healthy. The world is whole. The world is complete. Because you see, with what's going on, we've recognized that we are not separate. We, what's happening on the other side of the world and, and in other countries is happening with us. So we have to turn our attention to God the glory within, and not the news. God within, keep silent watch within me, within you. God within, lifts our consciousness to the realization that each and every one of us is forever protected, forever safe, forever perfect. Wash your hands. Thank God for lifting all people in perfect health. We will be the change we wish to see. You are. I am. I'm going to close with, again, one of my favorite books, Ernest Holmes, Your Spiritual Power. Because peace is within you, it is available. If it were somewhere else, you would never find it. Act as though peace already possessed your soul. And it possesses it. Act as though peace already is emanating from you. Breathe. Breathe in that peace. I am possessed with peace. The peace of God. The peace of knowing that with God all things are possible. Let's take that into prayer. Ah, so I'm knowing right here and right now that there is only one life. That life is God's life, and that life is perfect, it is beautiful, it is holy, present. In and through all that is seen and all that is unseen, There is no place where God is not in its fullest glory. And it is the very definite, absolute life that lives and breathes within me. I am the beloved place where God shows up. I am full of that divine essence. I am blessed. I am healthy. I am prosperous. I am at peace. And as I know and accept this truth that lives within me, and listening to me is lifted up in this moment, lifted up beyond conditions, beyond situations, into that sphere of open clarity and grace and and harmony and praise for God. Thank you, God, that we have the technology that we can join together. We might be separate in distance, but together we are mighty and powerful. And so this morning, I claim and accept that everyone that listens to this 
says yes. Returning to and through each and every one of us, multiplied, magnified, spilling over. We are full of it. And we just let God do God's work. We give thanks for that and for each other, and we let it be so. So it is. Amen. In this moment, in this place, I remember who I am, letting fear and worry fall away from me. I open my eyes and see there is all. take your hands on your heart. There is only love. There is only love. Say that to yourself. There is only love. And so this is the time of our conscious giving. So I think there's a giving app on, on Facebook. And if there's not, you can go on the website and fcsliving.org. There's a, a donate button. Uh, or you can send your checks in. But please, Remember that uh, we want to be able to open the doors in a couple of weeks. So we do need your help, your love, and your support. Whatever amount you choose to give is, more, is gra gratefully accepted. And so let's repeat together. God is my source, God is my, source my, substance, my substance, and my supply. My supply. I, am I am blessed. And so it is. And so it is. Amen. Okay, let's see, Reverend Suzanne's going to give us our announcements. And for my Tuesday class, if you're wanting to uh, meet 
uh, send me an email and we'll do a conference call. We will not meet in person. I will miss you all, but we can still meet. Okay, here's Reverend Suzanne. So obviously the lunch bunch today is canceled. <laughs> There's no place to go. Um, but tonight we are doing our spirit drum circle and it will be virtual through the Zoom platform. So you can, if you don't have a Zoom app, it is free, but uh, you'd have to download that on your computer or phone. And then um, send an email to info at fcsl living.org no it's fcs fcs living dot org, org. thank you uh -huh. um if you want to come today because you'll we'll have to send you the link of the platform so just send us a message that yes i'd like to attend the drum circle today that's at five o'clock so you can do it at home uh, our general membership meeting is being rescheduled for sometime in june and the new board vote will take place on april 26th hopefully after service here. And, um, and just remember, as Reverend Maggie said, your conscious giving, even though we're not in person, we're still here for you and with you. So we cannot pass the collection basket, but we encourage you to use PayPal or send us a check at our address. And if you aren't on our email list, make sure again you go to info at fcsliving.com and sign up for our email so that you get all of the news and information that you need in a timely manner. Um, so that you can check up uh, um, on Meetup and through our regular emails. And if you have any questions, please uh, email them to that info address. Thank you. Okay. We did good, didn't we? <laughs> we'll do better and better as we uh, Go along. I just want to thank everybody uh, for joining us. Uh, I love you. I miss you. Everybody, like, grab your heart and just give yourself a big hug. And uh, let's for sure see us open on Easter Sunday. I can't imagine doing <laughs> Easter without you. So hold that vision and live from it. Easter Sunday to be here. We'll let you know. Uh, we'll keep in touch. Okay, what's our closing song, Reverend Susan? This little Susan? light of mine. This little light of mine. Keep it lit. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Deep down in my heart, I'm gonna let it shine. Deep down in my heart, I'm gonna let it shine. Deep down in my heart, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine. All around the world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it Bless her heart and Rex for being here with me and being here with all of you. We love you. We thank you for joining us. Stay healthy. Stay well. Keep the vision. Hold the truth that you are the light and the love and the glory of God. Until we meet again, I will be doing some more of these during the week. And we will be back here next Sunday. Bless your heart. Bless your life. Stay well. Love you. <laughs>